I'm going to rank every charm as of now in update 6 of Pet Simulator 99 and tell you what I think about each of them and which ones you guys should really be using for different scenarios. Now I've done one of these in the past and a few things have changed since then so I thought it would be appropriate. And we also do have update 7 coming next week but I think there's a very low chance that we see any new charms. Just because I haven't heard anything personally about that. But if we do end up seeing some new charms be added to the game, we will for sure be doing another tier list. So if you're watching after that point, look on the channel for that new one. As you guys can see behind me, we have the huge Clover Dragon, which was generously donated by the community to be given away on our Discord. Link will be down in the description. It's absolutely free to enter. This thing's worth over 47 million diamonds. And you have two days from this upload for you guys to enter that giveaway. This thing's pretty awesome. It really sucks that I have to give it away because it looks really cool, honestly. And you can win this thing just in time for St. Patrick's Day coming up this weekend. Honestly, just beautiful. We also just have a helpful community that can help you with any type of problem you have with PetSim. There's basically just no reason you shouldn't be joined up. But let's get right into it because we got some charms to go over. All right, you guys, so this is the tier list. We're just going to go in order of these down here. Just keep in mind that all of these opinions I'm about to share are just that. They're just opinions. But it is nearly impossible to get accurate tests for a lot of these charms. So I could really only tell you my experience with them and how I felt when using them. Starting off with the bonus charm. In my last video, I ranked this a little lower. But, but this time around, I'm actually going to rank it B. I've seen a lot of tests from some pretty trustable people within the pet sim community that these bonus charms actually do benefit how much diamonds you get from grinding. So, but it is not the best diamond charm in this tier list. So for that reason, we're going to have it as B, but honestly for your cheap huges, these bonus charms are not that bad of a deal, especially I, I don't think they're more than a couple thousand diamonds, if even that. But overall, the bonus charm will give you bonus coins and bonus damage for such a cheap price, especially with how charms can be taken off and removed nowadays. That's really going to affect a lot of the charms on this list. Next up, we have the agility charm, which I actually ranked lower in the previous video. But because you're able to remove these now, a lot of these charms are actually so much more useful than they used to be. The reason I put the agility charm at B rank is because this charm is basically the best way to level up your huges quickly. And with that, I'm actually going to grab this and put this at D tier. So I've done some personal testing and I found that the agility charm actually levels your huges up faster than using the XP charm. I don't think it's by a super significant amount, but I did do a test with two happy computers that had one strength charm each and then one XP and one agility charm and saw which one was ranked up faster. And the agility charm was actually ranking up my huge quicker than the XP charm was. And the agility charm is like less than a thousand diamonds. You can get these for pretty much free. Plus the speed boost from the agility charm is just overall good for grinding anyways. It allows you to farm through breakables quicker because your huge is able to get to it even faster. So honestly, the agility charm is just not that bad nowadays. With the price of a charm breaker only being 8,000, using this to level up your huge quicker is not a bad value at all. You get major damage buffs by your huge as being high levels. It can be very lucrative up to extremely high levels for you to use the agility charm. But again, it's not the best for doing this specific task, so that's why it is only B. But these can be some solid charms, depending on your situation. So next up, we actually have the Strength Charm. And the Strength Charm, for me, is going to be the first S on this tier list. And that's going to be for a few reasons. Due to my recent testing with huges and stuff, you can actually stack these four times, giving you a total of 120% damage boost for your huge. And this thing only costs like a 1,000 diamonds. So this is an incredible deal, and I pretty much use at least two strength charms on each one of my huges. That damage output helps a ton, especially because in Pet Simulator 99, the amount of damage you do to all types of breakables determines how much you're going to get from that breakable. So increasing your damage output is always very important. As well, if you use these strength charms, it's a lot easier for you to use an enchant other than criticals. Up to a certain point, you're probably not going to need the critical hits to even be clearing the final area for the value the strength charm is just undeniable it is so good out of all my huges i don't have a single one that doesn't have a strength charm on it it's just truly undeniable s tier charm 
We definitely got some variant charms here. This is going to be a D tier charm, of course. In Pet Simulator 99, there's absolutely no reason you really need a coin charm. It's barely even worth it to open eggs in the game. Very few people are going to need this for anything. If you really wanted more coins, I would just use the bonus charm because it kind of does both. But even using the strength charm, you're probably going to get more coins because you can do more damage to the breakables. And there's just no reason for a coin charm. Just throw it away. From my charmstone openings, I probably have like 500 of these. They're not even worth it to sell how cheap they are. I'm pretty sure they're like 100 gems, if that. Another D tier charm. All right, so I had to switch these around a little bit because we're going to talk about these two charms together. A very popular strategy with charms are people using the TNT charm along with the lightning charm. So these two are kind of combined together. I still think the strength charm is just overall better for damage output and being able to go through breakables even quicker. A lot of people do like these TNT and lightning charms together. I'd probably say they are the second best way for a damage charm build on your huges. So we're just going to say these are A tier charms. I've tested it a little bit. I just personally didn't think it was as crazy as people say. It definitely is a good combo though. Plus you need to use two charms for these to be useful. So that's another reason why it is below the strength charm because you could just use one strength charm and it is just so beneficial combined with other builds. That's going to be the stance for these two. Let me know down below whether or not you like to use the strength charm or the TNT and the lightning charms. I don't think there's really a wrong or right way, but this way is actually cheaper too. And overall, just my favorite way to do things. Next up, we actually have the diamond charm. I'd honestly probably say it's D tier, but I wouldn't say it's as useless as these two. So I'm going to put it at C. The diamond charm is just not that good. The 10% diamond boost that you get for putting this on your huge is just not significant at all. You just got to think of it like the damage that your one huge does to a breakable is going to yield you 10% more diamonds than it would have from just that one huge though. You're not overall getting 10% more diamonds. Plus, I believe there's two better ways to get diamonds from charms on this tier list. So overall, probably D tier, but it's just not quite as useless as these. One last thing about the diamond charm is I'm pretty sure it gives you a 10% boost from your original diamond yield. So not after the enchants that you're using, the potion, stuff like that. So that's why it's just so insignificant to use this charm. And honestly, I would just never use it. I'm actually just going to move it to D tier. I just, I can't even put it there. You guys really should not be using this charm, especially for the price. Definitely go with the bonus charm. All right, so next up, we actually have the Glittering Charm. The Glittering Charm did get nerfed in Update 6, but not directly. The only reason it's nerfed is because it didn't get buffed, basically. We got a major buff with Diamonds from Breakables in the new update. This Glittering Charm did not change at all. But overall, for a beginner player, I don't think this Glittering Charm is really that bad of a deal at all. My only issue with this is that I believe we're going to see some crazy inflation coming in this new update in a week from now. And if this thing doesn't get buffed with all the other buffs that we're getting, it's just going to fall behind even more. So for right now, I'm actually going to have to say it's low B just because of that future outlook and the fact that it didn't get buffed in this update. It's not completely useless and the price has plummeted a lot in this update, so... That just makes it even more valuable, especially since you're able to pluck it off for pretty cheap. There's no reason you really can't just use this in the beginning. I'm going to say it's low B right now. All right, you guys. So there's not really much to talk about the overload charm. Obviously, it's going to be S tier. It's the only charm that can actually add more charm slots to your huge. It basically takes up a charm slots and then adds two more on top of it. Just so you guys know, if you didn't know that. So you actually do get the two additional charm slots, which can be very useful for adding two more strength charms, which will give you 60% more damage. Or that might enable you to use the TNT and lightning combo, so that could be very good as well. Overall, just S tier, the second most expensive charm on this tier list, so not much else to say about this one. Next, we actually have the best charm in the game still. From the launch, this has always been the best charm that you can get. And it is the most expensive, of course. The overload is getting pretty close to this, though. Basically, the royalty charm is a better diamond charm, a better agility charm, 
and a better strength charm all combined into one, which only takes one charm slot. It also turns out that the royalty charm does stack, so basically the royalty charm does 10% more than these three charms. It's just so good. It will help your huges level up the quickest because you're able to do more damage and it makes your pet move faster. So just overall the go of charms, there's no real competition. The closest thing they've added to the game to compete with this is the overload charm, but really you would just use the overload charm to add even more royalty charms. It is important to keep in mind right now for the value, it is not worth using these on your huges. It's more beneficial to spend the diamonds that you could get from this royalty charm on either pet equip slots or more huges, rainbow exclusives. All of these things will add more additional damage than this royalty charm will. The royalty charm is pretty much for people who already have a team full of huges and specifically shiny huges. That's when you're going to want to start just stacking these on all of your huges. But personally, I use these on all huges that I'm going to keep forever and never sell. That decision is going to be up to you guys. Purely from a value standpoint, it's just not worth using these on regular huges at all. Overall, the best charm on the tier list. And finally, we have the critical charm, which we are going to put at C tier. Again, like the diamond charm, I'm pretty sure the critical hits that you get from this scale off your raw damage and not your overall damage with enchants and other boosts from other things like the clan boosts, potions, stuff like that. So overall, it's just not a good charm. It is pretty cheap, however. I'd say it's less useless than these. Pretty much that's hard to say. I suggest for you guys to never use this charm ever. Pretty much a D tier. Just for aesthetic purposes and actually putting something in C tier on this list, I'm going to put it at C because I do feel like everything else on this tier list is in the right spot. And that's pretty much it, you guys. That's that's the tier list we got for update six of Pet Simulator 99. If we do see new charms next week, I will most definitely be putting out a video for that. So make sure you check back. Remember to join the discord and, and enter the huge Clover Dragon giveaway. This is our biggest giveaway yet, but we're only going to start giving away better things over time. Thank you guys so much for watching and peace out.